Evening Grant, up here, Emily, a 2 1 defeat in the end, just small margins costing us the three points tonight. What gives your thoughts on, on the game? Yeah, just said to the lads in there, it's a tough one to take, really. Um, you know, you've come to somewhere like Emily, where we've got uh, players that can hurt you. You know, they're a team that move the ball well, you know, really good at what they do. And I think if you come away losing the game, to them doing all them things, then it's it's one of them where you can sleep well. I think obviously conceding the, the second goal, especially from a set piece, which is something we are strong at and pride ourselves on. Obviously it's, it's one kick down the pitch, which we've not dealt with. We then edit out for a corner, which we don't need to do. And then we don't defend the corner. So, you know, it's, it's a tough one to take in regards to not get anything from the game because I thought, like I said, it was probably a game of two halves. I think we were the better team in the first half got in some good areas, created some good chances. And then obviously the second half, they've, um, they, they've took, took over that second half and, and, and been the better side the second half. But um, I think we did more than enough to come away with a point. Um, so, you know, like I said, disappointing way we've, we're, the way we've conceded the second goal to come away with nothing. But I've just said to the lads in there after, you know, a few not nice words, a positive at the end is that we've shown, you know, Emily have not been beat yet, I don't think, in the league. Um, and we've come here and showed that we can compete with the best teams in the league. And that's that's no lie. Anybody who's been tonight will, uh, will tell you exactly the same thing. Um, pretty sure it, it's, it's one of the toughest games they've had. Um, you know, their manager just said that to me. It don't help when you've lost a game to hear that. But, um, you know, it's a sign that we're doing things and moving it right direction. And like you said, I think we've... Um, you know, we had that mistake. We would have, uh, we would have gone away with a point, which would have been a great point. Yeah, also, as you said, we started the game really, really well, and I thought Bailey and Maz led the line really well with, with the, the hold-up play. And obviously, you know, Maz got his just rewards in that first half with his goal. Yeah. And, and then obviously, you know, second half, it's like we seem to just drop our standards a little bit, didn't we? Yeah. Well, I think, I think they obviously up theirs as well. You know, they, um, like I said, they're a good team. We knew they were going to come out second half and, uh, you know, have have a spelling game. Um, mm. And even when they did have that sort of 10, 15 minute spell, the frustrating thing is, is we didn't concede from that, which you would, you know, we a team like Emily you would expect, which obviously just sort of um, rubbed salt into the wound that we've, we've rid that out and, uh, and then obviously conceded from that set piece. So yeah, it's a frustrating, frustrating one to take, but um, a lot of positives in the game. Um, to show, like I said, that we can, uh, you know, we can go toe to toe with the best teams in the league, which is, what we'll keep trying to do. And obviously, we're with two on down, obviously, we're going for the game. They're chucking centre half up top, you know, yeah. but not, not really creating that many clear cut chances, will we? No, no, like you say, we went to, um, you know, I've always been the, I'd always, I'd rather lose 3 1 than, uh, than not have a go. We had sort of 15, 20 minutes to go. We went, you know, we went to a four up front, a five up front, um, which left us open for them at, at times, but. Uh, we thought if we kept going, we might we might nick one, but and we got into some half decent areas um, the second half when we when we sort of did push five on, but never um, you know never made the right decision I suppose when it was you know bouncing in and around there we we had a touch and we got it took off us or we made a pass instead of having a shot, uh, so it didn't work their keeper enough when we went five up front to sort of um, to make it count really. Yeah. So what sort of lessons do you reckon we can take from tonight's game? Well, our lessons are is um, deal with a deal with the first ball. If you don't deal with the first ball, deal with the second one. And if you don't really deal with the second one, deal with the corner that you've uh, you've get away from that. Um, like I said, we're a big, physical, strong team. Um, so for us to concede from a set piece, like I say, it's, it's like um, you know, it's it's like I said, it's a really it's like a punching gut, really. Yeah, and obviously. Moving on to Saturday, you know, another another West Yorkshire derby, probably our, our most local derby. We've got Liversidge down at the Heffernan Utility Stadium. Fans once again turn up in the numbers tonight up here at Emily and we're going to want to see them there. So how's the team going to prep ahead of Saturday? Yeah, well, we'll train on Thursday, obviously, um, and prepare for like a, a different uh, a different kind of opposition that, that Liversidge will, will bring, uh, different threats and different weaknesses that they'll have compared to Emily. Um, and we'll prep for that from what we've got on on Liversidge and what we know about them, and uh, hopefully take, like I said, a lot of the things from today into Saturday. And uh, like I said, we've not been beat at home this season in you know as, in regards to sort of league games. So hopefully we're making it a bit of a fortress, and we'll make it tough for them to come and uh, and get anything from. And like I said, just like I said, be a bit more ruthless in both boxes on Saturday to uh, to 
make sure I come away with something. Yeah, nice one, Grant. Unlucky tonight, mate. We'll see you Saturday.